Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. In recent years, the United States has used all available means to impose sanctions on China because it is afraid that China's continuous rise in the technology industry will shake its world dominance and it has joined forces with other Western countries to hinder the development of the Chinese market. Under the pressure of the United States, many Western countries have succumbed one after another, choosing to closely follow in the footsteps of the United States and restrict China's development together with the United States. Under such severe circumstances, China has not backed down in the slightest actively resisted the relevant methods of the United States and adopted countermeasures one after another. Biden played one Trump card after another, but found that he could not interfere with China in the slightest. He panicked and was afraid. Therefore, in recent months, because the previous US sanctions against China have not played a significant role, and the development of China's technology industry has ushered in self-breakthroughs again and again, China has independently innovated many China's made products, such as high-precision hand-sheared steel, self-contained mobile phone systems, etc. Biden began to reflect on whether the previous sanctions against China were not strong enough, and he intensified. The blockade of other technological products not only includes products produced in the United States, but also requires other Western countries that use American technology to produce technological products, not to export related machines and products to China. At the same time, the Biden administration is not satisfied with some of the above sanctions. They racked their brains thinking that they must use extraordinary means to shake China's related technology industries. Not only have they stepped up efforts to ban the export of related high-tech chips to China, but they have also restricted the sale of basic materials such as silicon crystals and wafers and blocked related international supply chains. Some other countries in the world have always believed that the Chinese market is very huge. As long as they can use their own industries to open up the Chinese market and establish a friendly trade partner with China, then the future benefits will definitely not be less. However, the United States waved its hand behind the scenes. He put pressure on countries other than China such as South Korea, the Netherlands, Japan and other countries with better economic development, forcing them to sever trade relations with China and dissolve some industrial cooperation relations. These countries are very reluctant and unwilling to give up the big market of China, which means they have lost many opportunities to make money. However, under the constant pressure from the United States, they can only reluctantly accept the conditions of the United States and form a chip with the United States. And other alliances do not sell chips and lithography machines and other machinery and software facilities to China. In the face of the United States pressing step by step, China is not helpless. If Biden intensifies, China will play one trump card after another to fight back against him. In order to fight against the United States, on the 31st, China announced to the outside world that it would implement a cybersecurity review of all products sold by the American company Micron in China. Most of the company's products are placed in China. Once China takes action against its measures, the company's sales performance will certainly continue to decline. In this regard, the relevant departments of the United States believe that this is a retaliatory measure taken by China against the United States, 
but China bluntly said, this is just some related review procedures for companies, which is very normal and does not mean anything against the United States. But it can be seen from this incident that the Chinese market occupies an indispensable position in the world. Even if the United States restricts China's foreign purchase of chips and other basic materials, once the countries in the world really lose China's after this market, the seller's market and the buyer's market will be out of balance, which will be very unfavorable to some international economic situations. In the end, it is the United States itself that is affected. Therefore, the relevant sanctions imposed by the United States on China are harmful, but not beneficial. On the 23rd, the day before South Korean President Yin Sia visited the United States, South Korean media announced that the United States banned South Korea from selling chips to China. Not only that, once China banned the sale of American chips, South Korea could not fill the market. As soon as this news came out, other countries in the world were shocked. The news showed that Biden had already made some precautionary plans and had a relevant crisis awareness about the international market. The United States issued this ban to force South Korean companies, such as Samsung and SK Hynix, to closely follow the pace of the United States and not give China any chance to stand up. But at this time, South Korea did not give the United States an accurate answer. At this stage, on the one hand, the United States imposes sanctions on China, and on the other hand, it is forming international cliques and establishing various alliances against China. It has only one purpose, which is to implement an all-round blockade of the development of China's technology industry and realize the entire international, there is only one huge market in the world, the United States. At the same time, it is worth mentioning that while the United States prohibits others from doing so, it is doing the same thing for profit. This behavior is shameless. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it, welcome to forward, comment and share. Please let your ideas and thoughts sharing with each others. Don't remember to follow our channel.